Hey Aries, my name is Jordan. I am the owner of Lead by Light Tarot. I am a Reiki master and psychic empath, so I do tarot readings all over the world. I'll link all my information in the description box below. Um, this morning I want to wake up, I want to get right into the April readings. There's a lot of strange energy going on right now. We do have a full moon in Aries. New moon, sorry. New moon in Aries tonight, the 23rd of March, okay? Um, so that's kind of like a fresh start. It's a brand new beginning, slate white, wiped clean. Um, for a lot of you, I have a lot of um, energy of people trying to stand in your way, preventing you from doing new endeavors that you're trying to embark on. So we're going to get right into it. I'm going to put all my stuff down below. So if you want to book a personal reading, you want to book a Reiki healing session, let me know. Share, subscribe, like it, um, help me grow my channel. You know, I'm new to the whole YouTube thing. Um, but let's get right into it, Aries. Okay, so Aries, Holy Spirit, Tip Healing Guides. Show me what I need to see for my Aries. I've already saged and I already used Palo Santo as well. Um, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Show me what I need to see. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Full moon in Gemini. It's a lot of unsteady energy, a lot of confusion I feel right now. And I think that, yeah, what do you need to release? It's the end of a cycle. We have the new moon in Aries tonight. It's the end of a cycle. You have a new fresh start coming and the universe is asking you to release it so you can take on these answers. The universe can't bring in new without purging the old, okay? So be mindful of that. Full moon in Gemini. Uh, for some of you, family's coming up. For some of you, family, family, family. I don't know why I'm getting custody of children. I don't know if somebody's in a custody battle about children right now. This is very specific. This is for somebody in particular. Um, it's going to resolve itself in the coming weeks. For some reason, I want to say in the coming weeks. Well, that's probably why I have angel answers here. Okay, so let's get into angel answers. Uh, I, look, I, <laughs> I list all my decks in the description box as well. So all my tarot decks, all my oracle decks. Granted, I, I don't have hundreds of them, but I do link them all in the description box for you. Holy Spirit, you guys, show me what I have to see for Aries for April 2020. Aries for April 2020. Be assertive, yeah. Be decisive. Don't let people stand in your way to stop you from doing. Communicate clearly. Ask your angels. It's a very big time for spiritual awakenings. Okay, guys. Um, a lot of you who have been out of practice in your spirituality need to get back into finding the balance between practicality and spirituality again. Okay. Um, you need to communicate clearly, not only to your angels, but the people around you about what you want to pursue, what you're passionate about, what your endeavors are. Okay. Because it's going to pay, uh, it's very hard. Ironically enough, it's very hard for me to talk when we got to communicate clearly. I feel as if some of you might be feeling, I don't know why outlandish is coming through, that your ideas or things you want to embark on in April are kind of outlandish. They're totally left field and it's like no one's going to get where I'm coming from with this. But you need to be assertive. You need to communicate clearly and you need to pray about it. You need to manifest it. Okay, spiritually. I'm getting very, very spiritual right now. Oh, they want me to do one more. Show me what I need to see for my Aries for April 2020. Any final messages for my Aries, April 2020? Final messages for my Aries, April 2020. There's one more spirit. Opportunity, yeah, and perfect timing. Okay, again, be, be assertive. Your opportunities are coming. You're manifesting them currently just by energetically, just subconsciously thinking about what you want to pursue. You're putting the energy out there into the universe for it to manifest itself. But be mindful of how you're thinking about it. If you're having positive affirmations, positive thought processes, or if you're thinking in a more negative manner, it's not. It's going to manifest in that way, okay? So you want to make sure that you're thinking about this in a positive outlook. You know, change is scary, but hey, I'm going to do this and I'm going to end something because I know an opportunity is coming that's going to serve me for my highest good. Okay. 
Uh, so you have opportunity and perfect timing. Be assertive, communicate clearly, and ask your angels. They gave you guys a lot of cards. And it's all about April's going to be a very big building month, a, a collaborative month, and you get helpful people on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, some of you are going to be working with others. <sighs> okay, let's get into tarot reading. They just want to cut me off, so... Working with others, so I don't know why they want me working with others. Some of you, this family situation, you're gonna have to find middle ground with the person you're dealing with about this child custody battle. You're gonna have to work together to make this work and, and put your egos aside. Ego is a big thing for the last few readings I've been doing. Ego is a very big thing, which makes sense because masculine energy's been going through a lot. Yeah, four cups, no longer. Um, closed off emotionally. Okay. My spirit and just the guides. Show me what I need to see for my Aries for April 2020. Show me what I need to see for my Aries for April 2020. I have to use this fabric because if I do it on my wood table, it's just going to be really loud. My current situation, crossing, immediate future, above, below, current, exterior, open here, final outcome. Overall energy, justice. Finding the balance, what did I say? Balance, practicality, and spirituality. Justice, legal matters, child custody, okay? Overall energy is justice. So again, if you're dealing with the legal matters, I feel that they're gonna be coming to a conclusion, okay? Especially with overall energy being justice. Incredible, that's awesome. That's awesome, guys. Okay, in the recent past, you have these seven of cups in reverse. A lot of inner, I want to say inner conflict for some reason. I kind of see that as more of the five of swords in reverse, but for, that's just what came out. Uh, the seven of swords is typically a lot of options, a lot of confusion, maybe not knowing which direction to take. Uh, in reverse, it could be clarity. You could be finding clarity. In your current situation, like I said, ending a very difficult cycle, ten of swords, very in your head, very anxiety ridden. Okay, what's crossing the situation is your stability, a long term commitment, a celebration. In your immediate future, you have the hermit, okay? This is almost as if it's in reverse. And in, in this particular tarot deck, it's somebody leaving someone behind to go find their healing, to go find their enlightenment, to go on their soul's journey. In the reverse, I think this is delayed. I think it's delayed because you're struggling to finish the cycle. You're staying in your head a lot, okay? What's crowning this situation, what's known, the devil obsessing over this, obsessing over the situation to the point that it's making you ill. Okay, that's the kind of energy I feel off of this. You're coming out of this energy. It's the very, it's like the last stretch, Aries. Okay, it's the last stretch. Very tough to cycle, especially with the devil attached to it. And you're aware that you're obsessing over it in an unhealthy amount. Um, the focus of the reading, seven of wands in reverse. I feel like this is not having the strength to fight anymore, not having the strength, the endurance to keep going with this. Like, you're kind of like, I'm over it. Like, I'm ready for the next step. Like, let's put this behind us. That's the kind of energy I get from that. And then you have the two of wands as your current energy, waiting for the right opportunity. It's delayed though. You're waiting. You feel like you're waiting around forever. Exterior energies around you is the wounded warrior. This is someone who's in a lot of pain, someone who's trying to fight for something and stay on their ground. They're being very stubborn. You get a very stubborn energy with that. Um, your hopes and fear is conflict. About five of swords, a lot of conflict. That's so weird, I mentioned the five of swords earlier. Uh, five of swords, there's a lot of conflict that you're scared of having in regards, I keep thinking ch child custody legal matters, okay? You're very fearful of conflict. The final outcome, um, someone's thinking about taking action, but I don't really see them doing so yet. I see them still thinking about it, they're in the process of it, okay. Aries, April 2020. Let's get into your clarifiers. To your clarifiers. It's a brand new deck. It's very hard to shuffle. It's so stiff. So stiff. 
This is Modern Witch Tarot, by the way. And this is Tarot in Wonderland. That's on the table. So stiff. Look at this. Sorry, guys. I got to split this up to shuffle it. I've only used this like a handful of times, as you can tell. forward through this mess of a shuffle for real okay spirit angels and guides show me what I need to see for my Aries for April 2020 tell me about the ten of swords for my Aries Justice in the reverse. You're ending this cycle of injustice because justice is coming in. Overall energy. Okay? Ending the cycle of in injustice. This imbalance. This chaos that's been going on around you. This feels like a lot of mental chaos. Yeah, because you're starting to find your support group. You're, trying, you're starting to find your soul tribe. The people that you can actually celebrate life with. That you can collaborate with. That you can work with. That you love. That have compassion and healing for you. Uh, this could also be an imbalance with someone you're very close with, whether it be a family member or a friend, okay? Imbalance with someone who's part of your soul tribe, very close to you. Tell me about the four of wands. What's crossing the situation, spirit? Tell me about the four of wands. What's crossing the situation? For my Aries for April 2020. Nine of Swords, a lot of anxiety, a lot of overthinking about the stability that you do not yet have, needing to heal from it, the Hermit, Queen of Swords, being very in your head, okay? And I'll take this last one, the Three of Pentacles, needing to work together. Some of you, this child custody was because a three-party situation came up. Some of you, a partner wasn't faithful, and that's why the injustice is there. And you're very in your head. You have a lot of anxiety about it. You don't know the outcome. You know you need to work with them to make this work because you have a kid together, but you have a lot of healing to do and it's hard to face them. And you're reluctant to communicate the eight of wands in reverse. You're reluctant to communicate because you're hurt. You're hurt. But you're coming out of this energy, Aries. You're coming out of this energy. This feels like a very personal reading, to be honest with you. It doesn't feel like a collective reading. Tell me about the seven of cups in the recent past. Sorry, they want me to go back to this Queen of Swords. You're thinking about your long-term stability. You're really thinking about it. You're finally putting yourself first and realizing, you know what? I need to do X, Y, Z to get myself where I need to be. And I know I'm going to need to work with others to do so. But I'm going to do it at my pace because I need to heal. I need to put myself first. I need to find enlightenment. I need to get myself out of this energy. Okay, out of the Nine of Swords, sitting up restless at night, overthinking things. I need to put myself into a more stable spot. Um, I feel this is very uh, emotional. This is very uh, an emotionally stable spot. There's a lot of passion here. You got a lot of wands and a lot of swords. Okay, you're very, you're overthinking this. Um, it's taking a toll on you. Tell me about the Seven of Cups in the recent past, Spirit. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. For my Aries for April 2020. Tell me about the Seven of Cups for Aries for April 2020 in the recent past. Page of Swords, Seven of Wands, Knight of Cups, all in the reverse. All of these in the reverse. And I have a feeling, to be honest with you, I'm recording this the last week of March. This feels like this week's energy. It really does. A lot of confusion, not knowing what to do, wanting to stand your ground and defend it and move forward towards something that you have more passion, more love for, but you're like, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how I do it. I, I have no idea. I'm really freaking confused. I'm getting angry with myself. I'm losing patience with myself. I'm not taking care of myself because I'm so overwhelmed that I kind of just want to sit around and do nothing. Page of Swords. This is someone who has ideas, want to start, wants to start new things, and is willing to put in the work and fight for it, but is struggling to do so because emotionally you're not in a good spot. Okay. So if I can turn this around without dropping anything, 
okay? Page of Cups, Page of Swords, and Seven of Wands. You got two, Knight of Cups, sorry. It's just not a fun energy. You're coming out of this, though. This is just overwhelming. You got the Seven of Cups. You want to find something that's more emotionally fulfilling because as of right now, you're confused. You have a lot of things you could be doing, could be going after, and you're kind of just, like, stuck. It's a very stuck feeling. Um, tell me about the Hermit in Reverse in the immediate future, Spirit. Tell me about the Hermit in Reverse. It's funny you got the Hermit in Reverse in your immediate future and you also have it upright and what's crossing the situation and need to heal. You have an, a need to introspection, okay? You need to look within. Some of you, this is a codependency issue, okay? This is, sorry, another message. Some of you, this is a codependency issue. If you were in a three-party situation, um, it, it was almost like, I, I can't let go of whoever you were dealing with. I don't think this is you. I think it's the person you were dealing with was codependent on two people, okay? Um, they wanted their cake and eat it too. You gave them one thing and their other person gave them another. Uh, that's the kind of, it's it's kind of, oh, what do they call it in the community? Spiritual vampire, I really want to say leech. It feels like a leech. Like they just like suck the life out of you. And it, it was emotionally draining. Yeah emotionally draining for sure tell me about the hermit in the immediate future tell me about the hermit in the immediate future my Aries for April 2020 six of wands yeah you're not going to reach this victory okay this victory until you do the healing okay that's why they're both delayed they're both in reverse I don't get any negative energy from this I just feel delay feel delay April's going to be a big month for Aries, especially if you're an Aries Ascendant, especially with the new moon tonight, especially with a brand new cycle coming in. A lot of change, a lot of positive change, but for positive change, you have to have positive manifestation, positive thought processes, okay? Positive self-care, self-love, putting yourself first. Doesn't mean be selfish, it means set your boundaries. Yeah, soulmate, age gap. Somebody's trying to come in to help you with this victory or you're hoping for this Six of Cups, somebody from your past to come back. I'm sorry, guys. Nope. You need to heal from this past soulmate. This person was part of your soul tribe, okay? You need to heal. That Three of Cups person, the person in your current situation that brought that injustice, it was a false victory. And it caused a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, and you need to heal from this past relationship. That's what's coming up in your immediate future. Because when you do, it's when your victory comes in. You need to heal. This is a lot of healing. I feel like you guys got something similar last reading too. So I'm not shocked that's flowing over into April. Tell me about the devil at the crown of the reading and what's known. Tell me about the devil. See, the devil in this... Sorry. The devil in this deck, it's its not scary. It's literally two people sitting at a table and it feels like a very analytical energy. It's like, I'm thinking, I'm overthinking, I'm obsessing, I'm making myself sick by obsessing. Tell me about the devil spirit. Yeah, wheel of fortune, okay? You're obsessing about the outcome. You're obsessing about what's to come. You don't have control over what's to come, okay? Remember that. Release control so the wheel of fortune can turn in your favor. This is two major arcanas, okay? You need to release control. That's what I feel here. You're trying to control the outcome of the situation, and you can't do that. You shouldn't try it, yeah, because you're confused. You're trying to find clarity. Seven of Cups, again. Ace of Wands, about this new beginning. It's like you feel it. You feel it coming. You know this big shift's here. You feel the shift, Aries. But the problem is you're like, I don't know how to get to my shift. I don't know where my next step is. And I'm, I'm trying to control the situation because I want it to play out like X, Y, Z. But the universe is stepping in saying, Aries, hold up, heal yourself. I'm working on the next step for you behind the scenes. But your focus right now, this worldwide timeout we're currently in because of you know what, I'm not even gonna get into it. Um, is meant for you to do this introspection. It's meant for you to take this time out to find clarity in yourself, to heal yourself from this past soulmate connection. And once you do, new beginning, opportunities, wheel of fortune turning in your favor, okay? Tell me about the seven of wands 
and the focus of the reading. This is this one confused me. The seven of wands, the focus of the reading. For my Aries for April 2020. Drained. Foregoing. Oh no. Of course. Page of Wands. Yeah. Page. A lot of page energy. Beginner's mind. Beginner's mind. Um, page of Wands. You're struggling to manifest what, which is very strange for this com combination. The Seven of Wands and the Page of Wands. Wands are about passion, desire, travel, communication, um, quick action, okay? And they're both in the reverse here. And it's almost like, I want to fight for what I'm passionate about, but you really don't know what that is yet. You feel it, but you're kind of still trying to put your finger on it. Because you have the Ace of Wands. And what's known, you know there's a new beginning coming that you're going to be passionate about. It's kind of like you're, yeah, it's going to be very emotionally fulfilling. Ten of Cups. I thought another one fell somewhere. Did it? Am I going insane? Okay. I'm pretty sure it did, though. Let's be honest. I don't know. I guess we're just going to have to wait and find out. <laughs> I don't see it. I thought for sure one fell. Oh, well. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, wow. Massive cycles. You have the Ten of Cups in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Wands in reverse, and Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Focus of the reading spirit, tell me what I mean. And Ace of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Dang. Okay, so you're waiting for this new opportunity. You're waiting. You're waiting for this new opportunity and right now you're losing your dang mind because you're kind of like where the hell is my stability where is it like i feel completely out of whack i don't know where i'm going this is your current energy this is definitely end of march energy okay and that's the focus of the reading you're coming out of this it's ending you got the ten of cups in reverse and the ten of pentacles it's very unhappy unstable time that looked like it was going to be picture picture perfect is ending okay you have some delays because you're still needing to work on your stability. The Nine of Pentacles is someone who's like single ladies card. Like I got my stuff. Like I know what to do. I know how to make my money. I know how to do X, Y, Z. Um, you need to step into this power. You need to. Because when you do, that's when this Ace of Pentacles will come. This is all in reverse though. This energy is very... Yeah, you're still focused on this, on this loss. You're seeing it as a loss, this connection. All right. Oh, dang. Okay, this is going to be deep, Aries. A lot of you are stuck on this connection. A lot of you are still overthinking this connection. You need to be mindful that connections, soulmate connections in particular, they're not always long-term commitments. They're just not. Some of them are only there for a season. Some of them are there forever, okay? This is one of those that's there for a season. This is a lesson. This is a lesson to push you forward, to step into your power, to claim your own victory, to heal yourself, to get your nine of pentacles and earn your 10 of pentacles on your own. Realize that you have the power to do this and manifest this for yourself because currently your higher self is being ignored because your nine of pentacles is still looking at this 10 of pentacles and 10 of cups in reverse. You're like, I'm ignoring my stability because I'm too focused on what I lost, what I feel I lost. When you really didn't lose it, the universe was like, this isn't for your highest good. This isn't serving you. We're going to knock all this crap out, bring in some good shit. Okay. Dang, Aries, you got a lot of change coming in. This is good change though. It's great change. You need to let go of this karmic partner. Yeah, temperance, you're getting impatient, getting very impatient. There's a lot of imbalance going on. They're telling me that's for here. Okay. Tell me about the two of wands. Tell me about the two of wands. Oh. The magician and the knight of swords. Yeah, see, you're manifesting this new opportunity. You know what it is. You know you want this new opportunity and you're manifesting it. Okay, the two of wands is in reverse right now. You can feel it coming. It's not here yet. It's delayed because you're still energetically manifesting it. And when you energetically manifest it, that's when it comes into the 3D. That's when it comes into the physical realm and you will have this. Okay, you need to have positive affirmations and know exactly what you want. And in order to get that clarity, okay, the seven of cups and what's known for your new beginning to get this clarity, to have your options and have your new beginning 
You need to heal yourself. You need to have patience. Stop dwelling on the past. That's the focus of the reading. Remember, stop dwelling on this missed opportunity that you see it as um, because it's not. It's not a missed opportunity at all. It was a very much needed lesson. Yeah, exterior energies. You have somebody coming in who wants to make an offer of love. They still love you. They want a new beginning in love. They're very hurt by this. This might even be a reconciliation with this person that you're dealing with. This long-term commitment coming in. Okay? The stability. Tell me more about this Nine of Wands and the exterior energies for my Aries for April 2020. I'm hearing new love, to be honest with you guys. Yeah. You have energies around you that are moving away from this moving away from the nine of wands they're moving away from a very hurt very heavy energy okay and they're going towards something that serves them something that they desire the ace of cups they're coming in to offer this cup of love to you okay six of swords is like the water uber moving on to something better something that's more beneficial for me sorry i pick up all of a sudden um yeah so this energy is i feel this energy coming towards you Tell me about the Five of Swords and Hopes and Fears for my Aries for April 2020. Judgment, making a decision to end conflict. Making a decision. Yeah, about this missed opportunity. You're done fighting about this missed opportunity. I don't know why I keep saying, well, you know, you got the star card in reverse. So that pretty much screams missed opportunity. Um, and that's what you see it as. I really don't feel that is what this is. I think that's what is in your head. Five of swords, swords, thought, intellect. Um, you made a decision to maybe stop thinking about it that way. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Tell me about the Knight of Swords and the final outcome spirit. Tell me about the Knight of Swords and the final outcome Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to charge toward this, but it's coming very slowly. You have, remember, your current energy is the Knight of Swords. And here it is in the final outcome in reverse. Clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. Pentacles, Earth energy. Very slow. Air energy, very quick. Okay? Polar opposites. You're thinking as the Knight of Pentacles, but acting, thinking as the Knight of Swords, but acting as the Knight of Pentacles. Okay? So, you know, you, you're learning what you want. I don't want to say, yeah. Soulmate connection, okay? Somebody's coming in with this offer of love and you can feel it coming. You know it's coming and you want it already. You want this new beginning. You want this person to come towards you with this offer of love because you know it's a two of cups connection. You know it's a strong soul tie. They're coming in very slowly and you're hoping for it very quickly, okay? They're coming. But like I said, stop trying to control the situation, my devil. Remember, what's known is that you are currently the devil energy. Devil with the Wheel of Fortune trying to control the situation of this new beginning. Okay? Because you're daydreaming about it with the Seven of Cups. Stop trying to control the situation. It's not going to happen on your time. It's happening for the universe's time. It's moving slow so you can heal. Yeah. Because they're a wounded warrior, remember? They're a wounded warrior. That's their current energy, and that's coming out in the outcome, too. They're still a wounded warrior. They're moving slowly because they're healing their own crap right now. Yeah, and you may feel left out in the cold. You may feel ghosted by them. Yeah, but you're stepping into your power. Empress card. Someone who's very nurturing, someone who's very motherly, someone who's very loving, someone who's fertile, you know, someone who has all their crop together and king of wands, okay? They're going to be very passionate about you. They're going to be very attracted to you for sure. Um, I wouldn't worry though. The final outcome, you're, you're turning into the empress, you know, you're stepping into your power. You're, you're getting this Venusian, this loving energy and a new cup of love is coming to you, like what more could you ask for? Tell me about justice as the overall energy. Tell me about justice. The Hierophant, long-term commitment, marriage, okay? Remember, legalities. Some of you, this might, the separation you're dealing with might lead to a long-term commitment. There's a lot of legal matters going on in April. I just feel a lot of contracts, a lot of, um, Oh, I wanted to say jurisdiction. 
But the Hierophant is a very spiritual card too, okay? So for those of you who are going through a spiritual awakening, you have the Hierophant here. This is basically guiding you. This is guiding you to the balance of your practicality and spirituality. This is your teacher. You're looking for a mentor. You have a mentor. You have a teacher. You have someone who's acting as their guide for you through April, through this process, because you are a little out of sorts mentally, okay? Um, not knowing what to do with this energy that you start feeling. Tell me more about justice for my Aries for April 2020. Six of Pentacles, what did I just say? Finding your balance. They're teaching you how to balance practicality and spirituality. Dang, guys, killing it. High Priestess, in reverse, yeah. You're not listening to your intuition. The High Priestess and the Hierophant, divinely guided connection, okay? The High Priestess in reverse, is that means you have someone who energetically is at the same level, but you guys are not like vibing at the same frequency. It's hard to explain. One of you is not as balanced as the other, okay? You are awakening, they're awakened. You're looking to this teacher, this mentor, this, this person in your life to guide you through these emotions, to help you understand what's going on internally so you can manifest your positive new beginning and turn into this empress, which you will. It's in the potential outcome, as long as you don't go too crazy. Remember, re release control, stop having expectations. Understand that things happen for a reason, okay? And the reason was a lesson. Yeah, the emperor with the empress. Again, one in reverse, one upright. Okay? That's it as it is currently. You need, you need to get a mentor or a teacher help you through this because you have a lot of four of wands, bottom of the deck, four of wands, crossing your situation. Stability's coming in. You have a very profound connection coming in. You have the two of cups, ace of cups, six of cups, two pairs of major arcanas, that match perfectly energetically. Emperor, Empress, High Priestess, and the Hierophant. This great connection. And you're currently a magician. You're currently in the master maker energy to manifest whatever the heck you want. And you know what it is with the Knight of Swords. Aries, April's gonna be a big month. It's nothing to be scared of. It's gonna be a very positive big month. It's gonna be a lot of, like, why do I wanna say reno renovation? Um, basically a fresh start. You guys are going to be great. You got a lot of new beginnings coming. A lot of them are delayed though because you got to heal. Do the healing, new beginning, you're all set. Awesome Aries. I appreciate your time. Please like, share, subscribe. This is a pretty long reading. Um, so please like, share, subscribe. If you want a personal reading, look down below. Everything's in the description box and I'll see you guys next time.